Hi everybody. Hi. Uh, today I'm going to attempt to draw uh, one of the most favorite characters that I've heard of lately in my classes and uh, one of my awesome students Desiree has suggested today that um, Rainbow Dash might be a good drawing to do. So let's do Rainbow Dash. Okay, it's one of the My Little Ponies. Um, it Rainbow Dash looks like a little Pegasus to me because a Pegasus is a horse with wings, and Rainbow Dash is a little blue pony, and she's got some wings, but she's got a rainbow mane and a rainbow tail, and she's super cute. So. I'm going to show you how to draw that um, using some shortcut kind of things and let's just get started. So we've got our paper in a horizontal uh, orientation here or landscape orientation and one of the best ways to remember that is when you see a sunset, right? I'm going to draw a tiny tiny little sunset here. Say so this is your beach or your ocean, right? Here's your sun. Sun goes down in what what side of the world? West, right? Rises in the east and sets in the west. But when you have a sunset, you say, oh, wow, look at the sun. It's going down. And look at the horizon. This is the horizon out here. The edge of wherever you are, as far as you can see, where the sky meets the ground that line right there is the horizon that's what that's called okay well horizon that's the first part of the word horizontal if you just add tal to that horizontal line so horizontal lines always go like that from left to right okay not a diagonal line. Diagonal line goes like that or like that, right? Horizontal lines go side to side. You're looking at the horizon. You're looking at a horizontal line, okay? Anyway, so that's how our paper is today. Let's flip this over so we have all of our clean, clean paper here. So our paper's horizontal, and we're going to draw two basic shapes at first. So look at your paper and you got about, divide it kind of in half with your imagination, okay? And we're also holding our pencil way out here because we're going to sketch first. So about halfway up your paper is, is right about here, right above that. And you can even just keep your hand right there, right above that and over toward the left a little bit. We're going to draw kind of a, kind of a big circle like that. Okay, it's probably, eh, it's bigger than a quarter. It's about the size of a ping pong ball. Okay, so then right beside that, we're going to draw a long rectangle. <sighs> Come on, camera. There we go. Okay, we're going to draw a long rectangle, and then we're going to draw another rectangle at the bottom of that kind of like that ish kind of sorta it doesn't have to be exact so we're we're kind of staying above right above the halfway point on your paper okay this is going to be where you're going to place rainbow dash's head and her neck and then going down into her body okay so her head, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here, and we're still, still in sketch mode, okay? Still holding the pencil way back there, so we're drawing super light until we get it right. We go down the front of that circle, make that a little bit darker, and then we curve, 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 and make like a backwards J shape, okay? Then, starting at the end of our little J shape, we go back in, drawing super light. We can always 
erase it if we mess it up, if we draw super light, okay? So we're going back in underneath our circle and hooking on right about there. And then we're making a curved line down to the front of our little rectangle that's standing up like this. Looks almost like a, a rubber ducky right now, doesn't it? Like we're starting to draw a rubber ducky. Okay, let's continue on with this line, but we're going to skip a little bit because actually you can kind of draw two little lines here. One's tilted in a little bit, a little tiny bit, and the other one's tilted in a little bit more. And then we're going to keep going just a little bit with another, like that curve is going around, around, around like that. But her front leg goes in front of that curve, okay? So now we've got the whole front part of her body drawn, okay? And now let's go back here on the back side of this circle and we're going to draw a curved line up like that. It's not super tall. It's, it's just a short kind of a curved line and then let's curve on around it's not pointy it's a rounded curve that goes down like this it's almost like if you drew an oval right there or an eyeball shape on its side right it just doesn't have this part in it so it comes up goes toward the back of her body round curve out just a little tiny bit but then back in okay and then we're going to start up here where we had our curve to begin with and we're going to come around a little bit bigger than that circle we made we're going to go down here but we're going to stop about halfway through this particular line right here so if we kind of draw a little bit let's 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 think of an imaginary line but let's draw an actual line super super light barely touching the paper okay and it's kind of a diagonal but we're we're cutting this line right here in half okay because we're going to draw this curved line around 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 and we're going to curve in as we get toward the bottom here but we're going to stop at that imaginary line okay so we got face ear neck now let's draw her little back okay this line guess what when we draw our imaginary line here this line is going to give us a good starting point for her back okay but her back just goes up and we go around 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 almost to the end of our rectangle here but she doesn't have a really super long body as a matter of fact I made it a little too long right there I think I'm gonna back up back up my pencil a little bit and go around 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 and this line ends just a little tiny bit lower than where this one is. See that one there? This one comes down just a tiny bit more. Okay? Let's get rid of that little crazy line. I don't know what I was thinking. But that's why we practice, right? We practice, practice, practice. Okay. We've got a little body. Now let's do some legs. Okay? We already started this front leg here, so let's keep on going with that. It kind of curves, so she's got kind of long legs. Her legs are about the same length as her head and neck there. Not quite, but almost. So you can kind of remember that. You might have watched a video where I showed you a little trick where you can measure. Like you put the point of your pencil at the one end of something you want to measure. And like your thumbnail at the other end. And so her head and 
neck. Oh great, they're mowing outside. Sorry about the noise. So, got the head and neck. The leg's not going to be that long. It's going to be right about here. She does have some kind of long legs, but they're not as long as her head and neck. Okay? But they curve, it curves forward and they start out smaller at the top, but they get wider at the bottom. So I'm going to carefully, carefully sketch, sketch, sketch. And this is a little bit rounded here and goes back and hooks to that line there. Okay. And actually this line goes up a little tiny bit more there. The other leg, super easy. Now that you have established this line here, guess what? You go right along beside it. Super light, but we're going to stop down here because why? Because this leg is behind the other leg so it's going to appear shorter. It's in the background, right? This one's in the foreground. That one's in the background, okay? Same thing for our back legs. This back leg has to be in front, and her other back leg, which would be on her right side, would be behind the other back leg, okay? And the back leg starts this line way up here like this, and it's a curve, it curves down, but it keeps going like this. And then it starts to curve around just like her front leg, okay? And we're gonna make it, you can, you can always draw a little kind of imaginary line across here or draw an actual line with your pencil. You know, draw the imaginary one with your mind. But that's where we want her back leg to come down to, all right? You don't want one their back leg way down here and her front leg way up here. We want to have some symmetry, okay? Some balance between where her feet are and what it looks like, okay? So, we've already drawn our little line back here for her hip, but on Rainbow Dash, she's got a line that goes, oopsie, doesn't go down, Miss Fink. It goes actually goes up a little tiny bit. Goes up a little bit from this point here, just a tiny bit like that, but not super far because this part is thinner. I actually drew it a little tiny bit too long, like a, about a millimeter and a half too long there. So this little tiny line goes up, but it curves down. I'm still drawing super light even though I'm holding the pencil down here toward the end. I'm still I'm not pressing down very hard just in case I mess up. Cuz I mess up all the time. And I do little sketch lines like this to give myself some reference points or some some size guides so that I can kind of see where I need to draw. Okay? All right. Next back leg, super easy. We've already established our curve. We've already established where the other foot ends. Guess what? Where that one ends, that's pretty much right where we need to end our other one. Not a pointy hoof, but a little rounded hoof, okay? And so now we've got her whole body. Now we just need her mane and her wings and her tail and of course her eyeball. Let's do her eyeball right now, okay? The eyeball on Rainbow Dash is really big and it's almost like right in the middle of this circle. A little bit toward the front, but that oval is really big, okay? And there's another oval shape inside of it. And guess what? Another oval shape inside of that one. 
And guess what? Two more oval shapes. Oh my goodness, how many ovals? How many? Big one there. And a much, much, much smaller one right there. Okay. On the outside of this oval, this line is really dark. And it goes all the way back here. Like that. And she's got three little pointy, like super pointy, thin, thin, thin triangles. If you look real close, they're triangles. Okay? And this part is black. You can shade this in with your pencil a little bit if you want, or leave it until later. You can color it in with your marker. Alright? So, I'm going to make this look a little tiny bit better. Make this look a little tiny bit better. Like that. And we got our eyeball. There we go. She's also got a little line. Just a little tiny curve line right there. Super cute. Alright. And we can't leave her bald. So let's draw her. The front of her mane. The line starts back here. At her ear. Where her ear touches her head. And goes way out like this a little bit past her nose okay so don't make it too short go a little bit past her nose and then come back in kind of a skinny point there another point coming down and back up like that and then this one is kind of a big point kind of curves down and out like that and let's leave that line where it is and we're going to come back to her ear and right above see where the end of her line the line is for her ear right there right above that is where we're going to bring this other line down just above her eye down down like this right about about halfway down then back up got a little point like that and then now all you have to do is connect this to this okay but it's gonna curve down to that okay sometimes I love to use a tip that I learned from Cassie Stevens she's a, an amazing art teacher on YouTube and in real life, she's a real life art teacher just like I am. I learned this trick from where you kind of take your finger and trace, like air tracing, but you're touching the paper too, from one point to the other where you want to draw a line. So you kind of get that in your mind how you want to do it. So now that I've air traced it, but I've kind of traced it on the paper too, I can go right down to that point and I'm like, yes, nailed it, right? awesome so that's her hair on the top of her head and the mane is next and that part is actually pretty easy but before I do all that I'm going to erase my little reference lines that I did in the beginning because I don't want to get confused I don't want to start making a line and then go wait a minute is that the line I'm supposed to be looking at or what's happening here so I'm just gonna erase my really super light lines and you don't have to erase them 100% because after we go over this with our Sharpie that's when you can really get on there and erase right because you put your Sharpie lines down and you don't have to worry about erasing something important okay so just gonna erase a little bit just so I don't get confused and there we go so that's better all right so our little mane is really easy to do you start right back here where the ear is coming down and touching the body right below that we're gonna draw a line that comes down and stops about right there underneath that black oval that you drew for her eye. I'm going to stop right about there and then 
back in. Makes a little point. Then this line is going to go from here way down to about here. But it's going to be curved forward. Okay? So, I'm going to go like that. And, of course, back up. Okay? And then one more. And we're going to bring it down right here between these two, the tops of these two lines for her front leg. I'm going to go back up to her neck right up here. Okay? So, curve, curve, curve down to there. And then we can actually put our pencil up here and curve in a little bit and make a point like that. Okay? So now we've got her mane. And it's awesome. And in her mane, also you've got this line like this. It separates. Again, it goes in the middle of this second point here. That's the red part of her mane. And then another line comes down here and kind of ends right about where her nose line comes down. That's the orange part. So we got red here, orange here, and then this part is yellow. Yellow. Okay. And then the rest of her mane is green, blue, purple. And this one does the same thing. It comes about halfway down in that second point. So there's three points here. Well, there's actually four. But three main points here in the front that stick out. And there's three points on this part. This part is green. Green. And then this is divided about in half like that. That part's blue. And that part is purple. Okay. All right. Tail time. Let's draw. Let's draw the tail, and then I'll erase some of this stuff, and we'll draw her wings. All right. So the tail is a big curve line coming out like this. And the easy way to do it for me is to start a little bit lower than that line, and come down like that. Okay. So you got your two lines coming out. Then all you have to do is make your point going in, point going in, right? Well, let's do it again. Curve line coming down, curve line coming down, and they kind of curve out, curve back in and out, curve out, curve back in and out, okay? Then this one, back in, this one, back in. We're going to do two more points. And the easy way to do that is two lines coming down like this. And then we just make a V kind of shape in the middle. And that's it. It's kind of like fire if you want. And then you've got your red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple stripes inside the tail. Okay? I'll let you fill all that in. All you have to do is look at a picture of Rainbow Dash and you'll see if you're not completely familiar with the way she looks. And there's not, she doesn't have black lines in between those. Anyway, those colors are just sitting right beside each other. Just like over here, she doesn't have black lines separating the colors. Um, I mean, you can draw it like that if you want to. It's your Rainbow Dash, but um, she doesn't have hard black lines separating those colors like you would see in some of the cartoon figures that we've drawn, okay? All right, last thing. Oh, uh, well, next to last thing. She's got some wings, and then she's got her little My Little Pony stamp thing right here on her, on her hip, right? So, wings are in front of her back. So we're going to erase a big spot there. 
okay. We just have a little tiny bit of a line sticking out here and this line here, okay. And her little wings, she's got like two kind of different sets coming off of her body here. The first one got a curved line coming up and around. And another rounded shape. And then a little tiny rounded shape. Not very big at all. Okay. And then the second part starts about right here where this one starts curving in like that go out or up actually up and back around a little bit not much taller one okay another pretty tall one big feather thing and then one more kind of a tall one and you can bring that all the way back down to her wing there or, or wing the first part of her wing then she's got another little feather kind of thing sticking out there you can make another one if you want I kind of I didn't draw this exactly the way her wings are but that's pretty much the way it looks it's pretty close and then if you really want to get detailed um, oh let's don't forget sorry sorry she got a little tiny tiny curved line there little teensy curved line for her nose and then a little teensy curved line for her smile and then the last detail we got a little cloud it starts right about here in the very center of her left hip it goes curve around like that little tiny tiny curve another little tiny curve we're gonna it's gonna look like a little piece of popcorn but it's a cloud okay and then a bigger curve and then two more from one and then one more bigger one that goes up and hooks to the top okay then last thing she's got a little red yellow and blue lightning bolt kind of shape it's a curved line that comes down from the top of the cloud there sharp turn back in like that and then real sharp turn again super sharp thin point there and then if we look up here by the cloud we go we can go in like this and out like that and hook that line to that line okay and then you can color that in it's um, red yellow and blue in, in thirds basically okay so there's our little rainbow dash and I know it's kind of a it's kind of a complicated drawing. It's got a lot of different parts. She's um, she's super cute. Has a whole bunch of stuff going on. And um, but I hope I broke it down into simple enough parts to where you could follow along and not get frustrated. Um, don't forget, I can't yet. Right? Let's let's don't say. Don't, don't spend your life saying, I can't, I can't, I can't. Let's, let's spend our lives saying, I can, okay? But if you hear somebody say, I can't, or if you start to think, I can't, I can't do that, throw in this word right here. Three little letters that will change your life, okay? I can't yet, but I will, okay? So don't, don't get frustrated. Just do your best. Have fun with it. Um, and Rainbow Dash, the last point I want to make about her is that she's not outlined in black, even though that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing this so that you can 
really see the the lines a lot better. She's actually outlined in a, in a darker blue color and she's a light blue color. So um, if you, you know, want to try to make it look as authentic, if you want to use that word, or um, as close to the original amazing art that they produce from the My Little Pony series, um, then in this part you'd be using like a darker blue colored pencil. But when you draw in regular graphite pencil, it's, uh, and, and like I said, there's no black lines here, but I'm going to draw the black lines just to separate those spaces. Um, anyway, when you draw in pencil, yes, if you try to draw over top of this in um, dark blue colored pencil, it would kind of be a little bit of a mess. So you can do this as a practice drawing in regular pencil and then once you get confident enough that you think wow I can I can really draw that character then do your drawing in dark blue colored pencil okay and do the entire outline just like we did in dark blue pencil but color it in with lighter blue pencil and see how that changes the drawing a lot because that's that's the way she's really drawn from the original artist okay so anyway um, like I was saying practice 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 don't get discouraged draw your little heart out don't let anybody tell you that um, your drawings aren't good uh, don't let anybody tell you that you're not an artist the moment you start to imagine something or draw something no matter how good anybody else thinks it is you're already an artist okay so have fun with it don't ever give up and thanks for drawing with me today I hope you have fun and watch for more drawings coming up soon. Thanks. Bye, you guys.